Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I have to say that at this point I have shot this video more times than I have can, can remember. Um, the last two takes I showed the organization and how I use my two filofaxes together to be organized and um, the shortest of the two was um, still going to be over 30 minutes long and that is too long for anybody to watch one video so I decided I will try to break it up and talk faster and still hopefully get as much organization in as I can my goal was to get them down to 20 it didn't happen so today I'm going to talk about my pocket Malden now in the previous video I showed you the actual design of the Malden and I am going to walk you through that very quickly um, and just once again, in case you missed the other video, but that's not going to be the focus of this video. I'm going to show you how it works for me, what I've changed, what it originally came with. So when you look at the pocket Malden, first of all, this is my wallet. This has been my wallet now for almost a year since the end of August of last year. And you can see what great shape it's in. Now there's stuff coming through. That's because this is so flexible and I could still put a lot more stuff in there than what's in there. Um, but so you see things coming through from the pockets on the inside. But it is in great shape. So this is really a hearty little one. As I mentioned in the previous video, um, I have seen that some people use the personal size for a wallet. That's too big for me. I carry three different purses um, in three different sizes and my smallest one fits this just about perfectly and so I just don't need the extra um, size of the personal size. So when I open it up <clears throat> you'll see that there are um, a few pockets. There's this pocket, this pocket, this pocket, three pockets here and then a zipper pocket. Now I think I may surprise myself no, yeah, there's a little bit of change in there. In my last video, I said I don't usually keep change in here, and I don't. I just put it there when it's given to me. Um, and then I dump it somewhere else just because I don't like the extra bulk from the change. And also, I like to have it handy in my car for tips and stuff. Um, but I also don't want it to leave impressions in the leather. So I don't use that. I don't keep a lot in these pockets. In this pocket I have my ID and that kind of thing in this little pouch that I can pull out to give. In this pocket I have two debit cards um, because I care. I have two different bank accounts and depending on which one has money in it I use that. So I keep those in here and then in this one I just have my coffee card and then sometimes I'll tuck other things in this one depending on what I'm doing. Um, it has the top pocket up here. I keep cash in there. I have an ATC that I keep in there um, at least at some time. Sometimes I switch it out so that I have it in case I run into somebody that needs it. Then it came with this little Filofax card, which I like. I keep it in here, um, and then I keep this cute little flower clip on it. Um, and like right now, I have some coupons that I am afraid if I put somewhere else, I'll lose. And then, then I have some... Um, washi tape wrapped around a plastic card like it's like a gift card type thing now on this there is one thing that's changed well there's a few things that's changed even since the last video as I prepared to make it work even better for me um, and one of the things is I have wanted some of these dew drops from Martha Stewart for quite a while and um, so it works really well for me to just punch holes in it and stick that in there and then I have it for if I need it and then on the original little dashboard that came with it I keep more sticky notes um, the first page I have in here is a this is a registration page that comes in it when it comes initially it's turned the other way and then when you register it they give you a number so that if you were to lose this you would have it um, and somebody could just drop it. It says right here, drop it in the mailbox and we'll send it to its owner, which is really cool. The next page, which I'm not going to show, does have some private information on it. And I um, I keep it pretty blank. I have my name, my email address, and my phone number, and that's it. I don't want it. I mean, technically, you sh you could have like all sorts of information in there but I just don't want people to know where I live and that kind of thing so I don't put all that in there although it wouldn't take much by looking at cards I could probably figure it out but anyway um, this has a pocket here 
I just realized, oh, I've got some masking um, stickers tucked back there. I bought these just little notepads, these little memo pads at Office Depot, and I stick that in there. And in the pocket, I usually keep like my Costco card and my gas card and one credit card and maybe some rewards cards if they're the ones that I use frequently. And that's really all I carry. My If I need like a big shopping stuff and I need all my rewards cards or whatever, I usually carry a larger purse that has those cards but these are just what I always want to have with me um, this pocket I believe came with it I can't remember for sure and I have it clipped because this has some important cards in it to me this has all of my certifications for work I'm an ER nurse as I know you probably know by now and I have to keep different certifications including and I have a wallet size nursing license that I keep in here right now I have a little um, a couple stamps in here just in case I needed them all of a sudden but I have them that just tucked in there and then I have my insurance cards and like my dental cards and those kind of things all in this pocket so that's why I keep this clipped so that I don't lose those um the original came with a few to do sheets which I have um in here I may use them more effectively as time goes by but as of right now I really haven't been using them now I don't know if this was a mistake or not but mine came 